Hello everyone, welcome to Russia's classroom. Today we are solve a interesting math Olympiad question, which is x plus one times x plus two times x plus three times x plus four is equal to 120. X is equal to what? How to solve this interesting math Olympiad question? I solve this question easy method. So our math solution, our question, which is x plus one, x plus 2 x plus 3 x plus 4 is equal to 120 i solve this question step by step now at this moment here is x plus 1 i take x plus 1 but i take here is x plus 4 x plus 4 and i take this x plus 2 times i take this x plus 3 is equal to 120 now at this moment you can see easily this one plus four it will be five two plus three it will be five so i multiply both so this x times x it will be x square plus this x times four it will be four x this one times x it will be x four times one it will be four times now i multiply both x times x it will be x square three times x it will be three x two times x it will be twice x then 2 times 3 it will be 6 is equal to 120. Now, this x square plus 4x plus x it will be 5x and here is plus 4 then it will be x square plus 5x 2x plus 3x it will be 5x and here is 6 is equal to 120. Now, you can see easily here x square plus 5x plus 4 times and it will be x square plus 5x but this is 4 so i take this 6 it will be 4 plus 2 it will be 6 is equal to 120 now this is x square plus 5x plus 4 this is x square plus 5x plus 4 both are same case these and these so we are lack x square plus 5x plus 4 it will be m so we will add this is equal to m so you can see easily this expression it will be m because of that this is equal to m i substitute this value here and this is m plus 2 is equal to 120 but remember that m is equal to this now m times m it will be m square plus 2 times m it will be 2m and if i move on this 120 in this side it will be negative 120 is equal to zero now at this moment i do middle factor here so this expression it is a nice quadratic equation so it will be m square but 120 it will be 12 times 10 so if i factor out it will be 12 m minus 10 m and this is minus 120 is equal to zero now you can see really here is m is common so if i take m is common here so this m square divide m it will be m this 12 m divide m it will be 12. Then if i take here is negative 10 is common this divide this it will be m minus minus it will be plus 120 divide m it will be 12 is equal to zero wow it's interesting now here is m plus 12 this is m plus 12 so you can see really here is m plus 12 is common so if I take m plus 12 is common, this divide this, this is m, and this divide this, this is negative 10 is equal to 0. So we are finding out here is two cases. Our first case, m plus 12 is equal to 0, and we are finding out other case, m minus 10 is equal to 0. But remember that or recall, m is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 4. So I take this below here, it will be x squared plus 5x plus 4 plus 12 is equal to 0 and here also same case it will be x square plus 5x plus 4 this m value and here is negative 10 is equal to 0 so we are find out two case so it will uh, at this moment here x square plus 5x this 4 plus 12 it will be 16 is equal to zero and here x square plus 5x and negative 6 is equal to zero 
So we'll find out nice quadratic equation. Here is a two quadratic equation. And at this moment, you can see this expression is the x square plus six x and minus x minus six is equal to zero. I do middle factor six times one, it will be six. Six minus one, it will be five. Now here, x is common. So this divide this, it will be x plus this divide this, it will be six. And here is negative one is common. So it will be x minus minus this plus six is equal to zero. Now here, x plus six, this is x plus six. So you can see really here, x plus six is common. So this divide this, this is x, and this divide this, this is negative one is equal to zero. So we will find out two case. Uh, our first case is x plus six is equal to zero. And our other case we will find out, it will be x minus one is equal to zero. So here is x is equal to minus six, x is equal to one. So we will find out two solution, both are real solution. Here is no complex number. But this is x square plus 5x plus 16 is equal to 0. So how to solve this interesting quadratic equation? So I think this x is complex number. So let's verify. Here is a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 16. Now, we, we know that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a so if i apply this mass formula here so x it will be minus b minus b is negative 5 plus or minus square root 5 square minus 4 ac a is 1 and c is 16 over 2a a is 1 now here x it will be minus 5 plus or minus square root 5 squared will be 25 minus 4 times 16 it will be 64 over 2a 2 times 1 it will be 2 now here x it will be minus 5 plus or minus square root minus 39 64 minus 25 it will be 39 over 2 so if i apply here is complex number rules i mean complex number it will be minus 5 plus or minus square root 39 i over 2 we are find out others two solution but both solution is complex number and this is our real solution here x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 6 and x is equal to 1 we are find out four solution here so this is complex number this is real solution let's verify we are find out uh, x is equal to minus 6 x is equal to 1 okay well let's verify this so our question is uh, let's verify here x plus 1 and x plus 2 and x plus 3 and here is x plus 4 is equal to 120 now first of all i take here is x is equal to negative 6 okay so x is equal to negative 6 plus 1 negative 6 plus 2 negative 6 plus 3 and here is minus 6 plus 4 is equal to 120 then here 5 minus 5 this is minus 4 and this is minus 3 and this is minus 2 and you can see that it will be 120 but this is minus 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 it will be plus minus minus it will be plus or you can see 5 times 4 it will be 20 20 times 3 it will be 60 60 times 2 it will be 120 or you can see it is 120 or 5 factorial is equal to 120 because of that we know that 5 factorial it will be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 so it is also 5 factors here so left hand side and right hand side both side is equal in this exponent in this math Olympiad question okay again let's verify because of that we'll find out x is equal to 1 so is it right okay so x our question is x plus 1 so you can see I, I take our question again x plus 2 and x plus 3 and x plus 4 is equal to 120 so when x is equal to 1 so you can see really here x is equal to 1 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 4 is equal to 120 so at this moment you can see it will be 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 and this is 1 it's no problem so you can see really it will be 5 factorial or 120 and left hand side and right hand side both side is equal 
So this is our math Olympiad question. If you enjoy this math problem, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care, everyone. Tada.